what are the primary strategic changes that JetBlue has implemented in TrueBlue program? The founding uh, principles of JetBlue is bringing humanity back to, to air travel. Um, and as such, we need to, to put together a program that is, is, is going to allow us to deliver a world-class customer experience. What TrueBlue does for us is, um, is set ourselves up from a, a customer recognition perspective in such a way that um, we, we can you know, deliver it across the, the, the company. The biggest change um, that we've, we've introduced um, is we wanted to make it more relevant to, to every customer. Um, so where you look at traditional programs that are in, in place today, uh, certainly in the airline space, a lot of those are based on mileage programs. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, they award miles based on the distance flown. Um, JetBlue felt that, um, and this, this kind of played through in our research as well, um, that that essentially didn't become relevant anymore. Um, customers were much more cognizant of um, what they were paying for, for, for their flights. We believe that that's the, that's the, the, the right metric as well. Um, so what we wanted to do was, was award them based on their, their purchases. Um, so that's why we decided that we would introduce a revenue-based um, uh, loyalty program. Over the course of time, um, customers essentially are, are getting a payback for every dollar they spend. Um, and I think, I think it's much more relevant. How has the new TrueBlue program and cooperation with Comarch affected JetBlue's competitive advantage in the market? I think it set us up very, very well. Um, uh, it definitely gets back to the differentiation piece. Um, the fact that we uh, have, have built um, a lot of flexibility into TrueBlue. Uh, it allows us to be nimble uh, and change. With the revenue-based program that we've built and the rules-based um, flexibility of it, um, I think that sets us up very, very well in the sense that um, most of the programs that are there today um, have been there for uh, an inordinate amount of time. And, and essentially, there, there's, there's kind of a, a level of customer fatigue. Um, and uh, other airlines um, are, are kind of restricted in how they can change. Um, but we're kind of coming out of it. We're lucky in the sense that we were building something from scratch, so it allowed us to think about the future um, and, and, and adjust accordingly. So um, I, I think that, that that's the competitive advantage that we get because um, uh, we're building something that, that continues to evolve, and I think that's very, very important. The thing about, about airlines and loyalty programs is that they continue to to change and react, um, you know, uh, it's a very fickle business. Uh, but we're approaching it not as an airline. We're approaching it as a, a customer service company. So that allows us to 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 continue to differentiate ourselves. So from a competitive perspective, I'm I'm in a happy place. What differentiates Comarch Solution from what's already available on the market? Uh, I think it's. Um, the fact that it's not an out-of-the-box solution, it's always, um, it's, it's basically written from a, a blank canvas, as it were. Um, you know, Comark um, are, are essentially listening to, to every single requirement and almost building it from scratch. Um, and, you know, the, the fact that it's a rules-based um, platform um, uh, even though that, that in itself doesn't differentiate Comark, um, it's Comark's approach and how they collaborate with customers to kind of uh, listen to your ideas and then complement your ideas with some of their own. Big thing for me is um, to realize the passion in, the, in, 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 in uh, Comark's uh, team when we kind of discuss things. Mm -hmm. you know, they, they get excited about the, the possibilities. Um, and looking beyond the horizon, um, I, I think, is, uh, 
it's always exciting because you're not, you're not entirely sure um, what the end result is, but um, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a marvelous journey to, to go past and see what, what, what you can possibly realize. So um, I think Comark's, uh, Comark's openness to, to think outside the box um, definitely is a differentiator. I think most other organizations that I've talked to at least like to come and pitch their wares in such a way that this is it and this is how it works um, and you know we'll, we'll tailor what we already have to your needs um, but at the same time you're buying something out of the box. I think at Comark you're building something from scratch and I think that's, 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 uh, that's one of the big differentiators I think. It's exciting. What has the feedback from customers been like so far? It's been very, very positive. Um, uh, one of the things that we, we did at JetBlue was um, we, we, we have an online customer panel and we, we essentially uh, go to that panel when we're looking for uh, ideas or, or looking for feedback based on some changes that we're thinking about. So we had kind of gone to them at the beginning to, to size what their reaction might be. Um, but that being said, the, the response since we've actually launched has exceeded our expectations from in a positive way. Um, and it's been great because, um, you know, time and time and time again, uh, as you listen to customers and, and hear about um, what are the things that concern them most, a lot of it is um, the inability are to redeem mm -hmm. um, or realize any value um, from, from uh, the program that they've been accumulating points in. Um, at JetBlue, we, uh, we, we chose to, to, to take a different approach and uh, open up redemption uh, to any seat in the plane. And um, uh, now customers realize that there is an actual prize at the end of this, and it's going to be a prize without any restriction. So. Um, it's been really, really positive in that regard. We decided to not only invest in the technology side of things, but um, when we were putting together the value proposition, we decided that we'd invest it on the, in the customer's favor. Um, and uh, that's, that's been huge. Um, at the end of the day, um, if, a, if a customer realizes um, some sort of value based on what they're accumulating over time and gets to experience redemption that ultimately um, breeds uh, the right behavior going forward. JetBlue is an interesting uh, company because um, we're an airline that is, uh, we're, we, we've just gone into our 10th year now. Even though we're a domestic airline in the United States, um, we're a global brand and we're recognized worldwide. And um, we're, we're recognized because of the, the, the service we deliver. Uh, and we're very, very um, proud of that. And we wanted to stay true to it. So it's important for us to, to continue to, to put the customer first. Um, you know, we're a brand that was built on word of mouth marketing, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, and there's nothing more powerful than the feedback that you get from customers. But there's no point in getting feedback if you're not going to react to it. Mm -hmm. You've got to listen to it and then it's got to essentially inform your decisions going forward.